What is up, my fellow Net Dwellers? Couch Command here, the teddy bear who teaches you how to mod different games. I think we're up to over 50 different games mod at this point. And at 1.2 thousand audience, I appreciate it so much, guys. Anyways, today we're focusing on Minecraft obtained via the PC Game Pass, specifically the Java Edition. Make sure it's the Java Edition, otherwise we're not modding it. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is install the Minecraft launcher. So let's go ahead and click install here and we're just gonna install this guy. The next step is we're going to, after this actually says it's finished installing, we're going to go ahead and do Minecraft again up here. And we're gonna get this Java bedrock, click play, and then we're gonna go view the Java edition and we're gonna install this guy here. All right, now that we have both the Java version of Minecraft as well as the launcher, we're going to need to go get actual Java because this will let us install the Minecraft Forge. Minecraft Forge is one of the common ways of modding the game. So let's go ahead and download Java real quick. Then we're gonna just go ahead and run it. Let's go ahead and install this guy. And now we just wait for Java to finish doing its thing here. Now this will let us actually launch the Minecraft Forge and be able to install that. But before we can do that, we're gonna actually have to launch Minecraft. All right, successfully install Java. Now again, before we can actually launch this, we actually have to go ahead and run the game the first time. So let's go ahead and come back to our Xbox game. We're gonna go into the launcher and we're gonna click play here. You're gonna get, you know, the generic updating and all this stuff. We're gonna basically just be waiting for it to actually be able to run the game. And we have to run the game the first time so it creates the dot Minecraft folder over inside of our app data. Because if that doesn't exist, uh, you can't actually install the Forge launcher. Go ahead and do Minecraft login. The Microsoft login just uses your Game Pass login, so that's what happens. And then now that we're here, we should just have the latest releases here. We're gonna click play and it'll generate our Minecraft folder. It'll download everything we need for the normal Minecraft. That's what this preparing bar is down here. We just need to wait for this to complete and then we should be good to go. All right, now that we actually have that Minecraft folder generated successfully, we can actually come out and go ahead and snag this guy here. And we're gonna download the installer for the forge. And then let's go ahead and save this guy. And we can just run this now and we should actually have it automatically be able to find what we need. We're going to be installing the client version, not the server version. I don't know why it didn't. Oh, there it is. Just decided to put it on a weird window. So we're going to go ahead and notice it says it's actually found my Minecraft location. That was the whole point of running the game. And we're gonna select the install client. Let's go ahead and click okay. Now we've got this Java installer running. And once this is complete, we should be good to actually just kick off the game. Well, we'll kick off the game again and we'll validate that the installer was successfully installed. And it's really quick and easy to validate that. All right, and we just successfully finished. So let's go ahead and click okay on this pop up here. And now we're gonna click play again. And now over here, notice that we have the Forge installation available. We're gonna click play here and we have to agree to this and run it. And now it'll do the preparation piece. Then once it's done preparing, we should have an actual launch window for Minecraft popping up here in a second. Now on this actual, now on the run version, you can actually see mods now available. You'll notice our Forge version here. And that means we are good to start actually modding this thing. So we wanna click mods here and open mods folder to get the mods folder. Then let's close out of it and let's go find some mods. All right, so we're gonna be grabbing biomes of plenty, which adds 20 different biomes to this. But we're also going to require Terraforge to be able to do this. So let's go ahead and download Terraforge and download Biomes of Plenty. 
And of course, the links are in the description down below. So if you need them, it's there. Now that those are downloaded, we're just going to click and drag them over into this guy here. And we should be able to play. Go ahead and leave it as the Forge 1.9.2 version of 43.1.2. Click play. And if our mods function, it should kick us right into the game. We should be able to see these mods inside the mod menu. And then we can kick off the game and confirm full functionality. Let's go ahead and see if the game will launch. All right. There goes our Minecraft. Go ahead and finish loading for me. Just FLF in that guy. We're in. If we go into mods now, we can see the Terra Blender and biomes of plenty there. Let's go ahead and go done. And let's go single player. And we just crashed. It looks like uh, unknown elements inside the biomes of plenty. So it looks like the oak bush is causing some issues for me. So let's go ahead and get a different mod. One second. All right, so I was finally able to get this to work. Basically, I had to use beta versions of the Biomes of Plenty and the Terror Blender. But going with the beta versions, I was able to get it to load successfully. I will link to both of the actual download locations for this, so you guys have those. But now if we come in, we go play. Go ahead and launch our Forge 1.9.2. We go into mods here, you can see we've got the Terra Blender version 2.0.1.125 and the Biomes of Plenty 17.1.1.150. And these are able to work. So if I go done and I go single player, let me go ahead and delete this world and we'll just create a new one. Just to confirm everything functions. So new world, survival, create new world. And if everything is good, we should actually have a world created. No errors, no exceptions, no bombing out. All right, join in world, loading terrain. And just like that, we're in. Uh, da, 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 da. We loaded our packs. This has the biomes of plenty. And yeah, we're good to go. So that is how you mod Minecraft for the Game Pass version. This was Couch Command. You guys all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.